Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Friday, the 28th of July. India keen to be trusted chip partner and supplier, says PM Modi. Taliban's Afghanistan takeover has emboldened TTP, says UNSC report. And pony owners in Jammu and Kashmir make a quick buck during Amarnath Yatra. And now for all the details. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Friday kick-started Semicon India, an event aimed at attracting global investors to establish production in the country. Addressing the gathering, he said India is witnessing an exponential growth in digital and electronic manufacturing sector and at a time when the world needs a reliable supply chain, India can be the trusted partner. He said India understands its global responsibilities and is working on a comprehensive roadmap with friendly countries to build a vibrant semiconductor ecosystem. Bharat ko is baat ka bhi ehsaas hai ki semiconductor sirf hamari jarurati nahi hai dunia ko bhi aaj एक ट्रस्टेड रिलायबल चीप सप्लाई चेन की जरूरत है दुनिया की सबसे बड़ी डेमोक्रेसी से बेहतर भला ये ट्रस्टेड पार्टनर और कौन हो सकता है द सेमिकॉन इंडिया कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑल्सो विटनेस्ड अनाउंसमेंट फ्रॉम यूएस चिप मेकर एडवांस्ड माइक्रो डिवाइसेस विच सेड इट हैज प्लान टू इन्वेस्ट अराउंड फोर हंड्रेड मिलियन डॉलर इन द कंट्री ओवर द नेक्स्ट फाइव ईयर्स The investment bodes well for the event, which is the Prime Minister's latest attempt to attract investors into the chip industry after his initial bid to offer incentives floundered. Both houses of the Indian Parliament were adjourned after yet another day of chaos over the violence hit Manipur, with the opposition demanding an elaborate statement by Prime Minister Narendra Modi on the matter. The 26-party opposition INDIA alliance has moved a notice of no confidence in the Lok Sabha against the government over the Manipur issue. Although the notice has been admitted, the date for a debate is yet to be finalised. A delegation of opposition parliamentarians is also set to visit Manipur this week. India block के साथ ही राजनीतिक दल अपने प्रतिनिधियों का एक समूह बनाकर पूरा इंडिया ब्लॉक का एक डेलीगेशन मणिपुर जाएगा और उद्देश्य बस इतना ही है कि मणिपुर में जाकर वहाँ की वस्तुस्थिति क्या है उसे देखें समझें मणिपुर के लोगों के साथ कंधे से कंधा मिलाकर खड़े हों उनके आंसू पहुँचने का प्रयास करें उन्हें सांत्वना दें और वापस आकर संसद के भीतर सरकार को इन सारी चीज़ों से अवगत कराएं कि वास्तव में मणिपुर में हो क्या रहा है मणिपुर क्यों जल रहा है क्या वहाँ पे स्थिति है मीन वाइल द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ होम अफेयर्स इन्फॉर्म द सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑन थर्स डे दैट द सी बी आई विल टेक ओवर द प्रोव इन टू द वायरल वीडियो ऑफ टू वीमेन बींग परेडेड नेकेड बाई मॉब इन मणिपुर द गवर्नमेंट सेड इट हैड अ जीरो टॉलरेंस पॉलिसी टूवर्ड्स क्राइम्स अगेंस्ट वीमेन and requested the court to shift the case outside the state while fast tracking completion of trail in 6 months manipur police has so far arrested 7 people in connection with the case india has lodged a strong protest with china after three athletes from india's arunachal pradesh were issued stapled visas instead of stamped ones by the chinese mission India's foreign ministry spokesperson Arindam Bagchi said China's behavior was unacceptable. He said India's consistent position is that there should be no differential treatment on basis of domicile in the visa regime for Indian citizens holding valid Indian passports and added that New Delhi has the right to suitably respond to such actions. Earlier this year Beijing had also renamed 11 locations in Arunachal Pradesh saying it is part of Chinese controlled Tibet. However, India has consistently opposed the claim and maintained the relations between the two countries cannot be normal until Beijing adheres to past agreements. 
Um, it has come to our notice that stapled visas were issued to some of our citizens uh, representing the country in an international sporting event in China. Um, this is unacceptable and we have lodged our strong protest, uh, protest with the Chinese side, uh, reiterating our consistent position on the matter. And India reserves the right to suitably respond to such actions. Pakistan Senate on Thursday passed a bill to amend the Army Act 1952, which proposes up to five years in jail for anyone who discloses sensitive information pertaining to the security of the country or the Pakistan Army. A person making a disclosure with the permission of the Chief of Army Staff or an authorized officer will, however, not be punished, local media reported. The move apparently aims to tighten the news around the neck of former PM Imran Khan after a top official accused him of using US cables to create a false narrative against the military establishment after his ouster last year. The United Nations Security Council in its report has said that the Taliban takeover in Afghanistan has emboldened TTP, the Tehreek-e Taliban Pakistan, resulting in an increase in its cross-border attacks in Pakistan. Afghanistan remains a place of global significance for terrorism with approximately 20 terrorist groups operating in the country, the report states. Pakistan has been witnessing a surge in attacks, especially by the TTP, since the Taliban's return to power in 2021. The TTP is not directly associated with the Afghan Taliban, but pledges allegiance to it. In the backdrop of picturesque mountains, it is a daily routine of Indian soldiers to conduct drills of mountain climbing and crevice crossing as they train themselves in mountain warfare at the Kargil Battle School. Following the two months long battle in 1999, India felt the need for a battle school, imparting training to its soldiers to avert a Kargil-like situation, which led to establishment of the Kargil Battle School in Dras. The Mountain Warfare Academy, which has the motto, We Make Mountain Warriors, imparts three weeks pre-induction training to security personnel to combat their enemies in high-altitude areas. Part of the training includes casualty evacuation and survival skills, which play a key role during conflict situations. Amid tensions with China and Pakistan across the mountainous region, this training comes into help when the soldiers fight the more difficult battle with their minds and bodies. Pony owners and ferrymen are rejoicing over a large number of pilgrims arriving to Jammu and Kashmir. The annual pilgrimage is a major source of income for people in remote areas. A report. Pony owners and ferrymen in India's Jammu and Kashmir are rejoicing over a large number of pilgrims arriving for the Amarnath Yatra as they have been doing brisk business since the annual Hindu pilgrimage began on 1st of July. During the two-month-long pilgrimage, devout Hindus either trek or proceed astride on ponies or in palanquins to the cave shrine of Hindu god Lord Shiva. Locals, especially the pony owners, from remote areas of Pehelgaon, Chandanwadi, Baltal and Sonmarg count on the pilgrimage, which is their major source of income. Located at an altitude of 3,800 meters and covered by snow almost all year round, Amarnath contains an ice stalgamite that is considered the physical manifestation of Lord Shiva. The 62-day-long Amarnath Yatra will culminate on August 31st. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time next week. Have a great weekend. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.